Now at 530, the nation prepares to head into the weekend without knowing the results of Tuesday's presidential election. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Tracy Hutchins. And I'm Sean Gables. Votes are still being counted in several states, including Georgia. And here's where things stand so far. Former Vice President Joe Biden continues to lead President Trump in both the popular vote and the electoral college vote. However, Mr. Biden still does not have the 270 that he needs to claim a victory. Georgia's numbers continue to change by the hour. Over the last 24 hours, Joe Biden surpassed the president in the vote count. Now, if that continues, the former vice president will become the first Democratic presidential nominee to win Georgia since Bill Clinton in 1992. Now, Republican Senator David Perdue's lead in Georgia's U.S. Senate race is slipping. He's lost so much ground that a runoff is now possible. CBS 46's Megan Packer was there when his challenger, John Ossoff, spoke with supporters. Part of Grant Park was filled with enthusiastic supporters of John Ossoff. He and those supporters are hoping that momentum carries them into a runoff. Change has come to Georgia. Change is coming to America. John Ossoff is looking ahead. And retirement is coming for Senator David Perdue. The Democrat thanks supporters and says he is ready for a runoff against Republican incumbent David Perdue. A senator who has shown no spine and no independence who has sold out our values and our interests to his donors and to this president. It was a hopeful and celebratory atmosphere. I'm really excited. I am proud to be a Georgia resident for the first time in a really, really long time. As someone who's been up for the past three nights and gotten maybe six hours of sleep, there is a big sigh of relief for all of us right now where we are. As votes are still counted, Senator Perdue's campaign released a statement that says he's ready to defend the Republican majority, saying in part, we are excited for overtime. It gives us even more time to continue exposing John Ossoff and his radical socialist agenda. John Ossoff does two things well, burn through out-of-state liberal money and lose elections. Georgians will now get to watch him do both again. In Atlanta, Megan Packer, CBS 46 News.